Hey everyone, I'm here with another design team project for Scrapping for Less, and this time we are going to focus on art impressions, and it's the Holy Moly stamp. This stamp set is so adorable, um, and I, you know, I gave it a shot coloring a mole. I'm not sure if I did it right, but I think he still looks cute. So I grabbed one of my frame dies from my stash, I cut that out and have that ready, and I'm going to start stamping my images using my Versifying Black Onyx ink. Now after I stamp this image, and this is the one that I chose because hello, flower on the head, thought it was adorable, I'm also grabbing a piece of masking paper and just making sure I stamp the one side of the image. I don't need the whole image, so that's something that you can look at. If you're being specific when you're masking, you can just stamp that portion and cut that out as long as you know you're not going to cross over that save some product for you so once i have that fussy cut out i'm going to place that down and then the next stamp that i'm going to grab is the shovel so the look i was going for here is i want it to look like the shovels coming out of his right hand it's to our left but his right so i'm just going to prop that down and then when I pull that mask away, you'll see that it looks like it's just in his hand. I also grabbed the Mound of Dirt and Life's, let's see, what the, yes, Life's a Garden, dig it. So I just thought the sentiment was really, really cute. So I really sped this up, and no, I did not show all of the coloring. This took me about 25 to 30 minutes to color. Um, sometimes I use two different colors for the shading. Sometimes I'm only using one. Um, for the purple, I actually use a blue for my shading. So I will have more details when it comes to colored pencils in another video. So be on the lookout. But I am going to show some of the coloring here. So I always, it's almost like I work it like my alcohol markers. I put a layer down. Of the light color or maybe even the mid-tone depending upon what I'm coloring and then I'll come in either with more pressure on the same color or a darker color for my shading again it all depends on the image and what I'm looking for so here for this purple jacket I actually pulled in a dark blue to do the shading because those colors can go you don't have to go light purple dark purple or light green, dark green. You can go yellow and green for your greens. You can go purples and blue, use the blue for your shading. So it's just something to look at and try. Um, how to get used to these? Just grab a piece of paper or a coloring book. You can get them at the dollar store and start coloring and play with your shading. That's usually what I do, um, just to play around with it um, and, and get used to the different colors that you can use. So this is about, this is the only part that I am going to show. So you can see how it's just coming. I keep layering. I don't put immediate pressure right off the bat because again, these are waxed baits. The Prisma colors are wax based pencils. So the, the more layers you keep putting on, the more that wax will build up. That's where the, your pigment is. And eventually you won't be able to put any more color on top of that. So you always want to start out light then go in with the dark and or the pressure to put that because then once you do that that's where it'll stand so through the awesomeness of video technology voila we have gone through we've put a base down um, so that we can ground them added a few little sprigs just jotting out to make it look like grass um, we're just doing the final touches now again you know I, you can use the packaging for color I just kind of went with my own thing. So, yeah, I don't know if it's right, but I really do think it's cute. So, for the sentiment, I grabbed another stamp from my stash, and it's like a flower shape. And I'm using the color, one of the purples that I used in my coloring of my main focal image. And I'm just lightly going across this piece. Very, you can see how far my hand is back, and on the edges it's a little darker because it's it's going to pick it up. It's almost like distressing, using your distress inks. I just wanted it to have a touch of color. I grabbed one of my fabric 
Castell pit pens. I always have to slow that down or else it sounds funny. And I'm actually drawing a stem and a leaf because the sentiment, since it's a flower shape, I want it to look like the flowers coming up. So I real quick, quick grabbed my couple of Prismacolors that I used previously, and I'm just going to real quick put down um, the base color and then add some shading with the darker green to come in just to make it pop just a little bit. I'm then going to use a foam square and I'm going to prop that sentiment up. And then I'm going to use um, my tape runner and put this down on my four and a quarter by five and a half side folding, usually a top folding, but now a side folding a card base. I'm bringing in my black gel pen just for the eyes so that they stand out just a little bit and the screws on the shovel. So I hope you enjoyed this. Here's the close-up of this card that we have made today for Scrapping for Less. I hope you'll take the time and check out the stamp set at their online store where there's also many other products to choose from. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And by all means, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you look below and hit that subscribe button as well to see all the other videos that are coming and all the wonderful designs. As always, the link to the stamp set that I used will be shown below in the description. I hope everyone has a wonderful day, and always remember, be creative.